Vehicles driven by data science. It's an era of the internet and every electronic application is becoming smarter day by day and reducing your efforts each day like you can cook at the same time, you can activate your devices with its command and ask it to play songs. If you're mopping your room and need to read your new mail, all you have to do is speak to the device and read my mail along with its command. Feeling hot? Talk to AC and voila, now you can feel the breeze. As every electronic device is getting smarter and even the car too, those are called autonomous cars and Tesla took the world's attention by introducing autopilot cars in the year 2014. But have you heard about the autonomous landmark vehicle? An autopilot car which was developed in the 1980s by Carnegie Mellon University's NABLA which was funded by the United States Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency DARBA in 1984. By 1985, the ALV drove two lane roads at 31 km per hour. Later in 1986, the ALV became more intelligent by implementing obstacle avoidance in 1987 off road drive mode to the ALV. In 1995, with help of CMU's NAVLA 5, ALV achieved its first milestone by driving coast to coast in the US, which covered 4501 km on the road with an average speed of 102.7 km per hour. This year has passed. The vehicle's road have increased and the obstacles have increased as well. Technology has innovated much more than it used to be in the 90s. And how do these autonomous vehicles compete with obstacles present in the road? The answer is data science and artificial intelligence. Yes, you heard right. Let me break down the technology used in autonomous vehicles. The car system is fed with cityscapes data through deep lab. A semantic segmentation model, i.e., the image which feeds in the dataset is categorized into pixels and the system learns the difference between the object through the pixels. DeepLab was developed by Google in 2016 and made it a free sourced interface. Since then, the model has gone through several revisions and has seen numerous advancements. The image of road elements are taken in various perspectives and the image is feeded into the system in such a way that the image contains only road images. Other elements other than road are cropped out by this. The system is trained to distinguish between the road and the other elements. This process is known as image segmentation. After teaching the system about the road element, now the detailed navigated road image with detailed street name, crossroad, intersection and where does each road leads to are detailed out in the system with detailed images. This is done through the street view API key. The images of obstacles on the road like the building, signboards, traffic signals, street lights and barricade are furnished into the system and train these images as obstacles on the road to avoid collision with it. The data is detailed in the system with the help of SOTA DL algorithms like QATM. The images are divided in segments for every 10th frame which could help in real time calculation. Why for every 10th frame? The 10th frame is equivalent to one third of seconds according to time. And no huge incidents takes place in the duration of one third of second. Because the car cannot appear more than 1 km in 10 to 50 frames, it can be optimized by limiting search solely closer to the street views after the first estimated positions. For map position, map applications are used to navigate the car to the right direction. Furthermore, the system is run on trial in closed locality. This helps the developer to understand the model is predicting the obstacles accurately and more efficiency is based on the data. After analyzing the model in closed locality, then it is tested on live street. Here, the vehicle is furnished with three sensors. One, camera sensor. Video cameras and sensors are used to see and interpret the objects in the road just like human drivers do with their eyes. By equipping cars with these cameras at every angle, the vehicles are capable of maintaining a 360 degree view of their external environment, thereby providing a broader picture of the traffic conditions around them. Now, 3D cameras are available and utilized for displaying highly detailed and realistic images. These image sensors automatically detect objects, classify them and determine the distances between them and the vehicle. Second, radar sensors, radar, radio detection and ranking. Sensors make up a crucial contribution to the overall function of autonomous driving. They emit radio waves that detect objects and calculate their distance and speed in real time in relation to the vehicle. Short and long range radar sensors are commonly installed throughout the vehicle, each with its own set of capabilities. 
by short range 24 gigahertz result applications allow for blind spot monitoring optimal lane keeping assistance and parking aids long range 77 gigahertz gear laser sensors are responsible for automatic distance control and brake assistance radar devices unlike camera sensors often have no trouble recognizing objects in fog or rain third lidar sensors lidar light detection and ranging sensors work similarly to radar system with the exception that instead of radio waves they employ lasers lidar can create 3d images of identified items and map the surroundings in addition to measuring distances to various things on the route Furthermore, rather than relying on a small field of vision, LiDAR may be programmed to build a full 360 degree map around the vehicle. Google is commuting their employees with their autonomous car on their campus, and Tesla have taken further steps to introduce their electric car which is embedded with autopilot features with level 2 version. No wonder what the world can be filled with self-driven intelligent vehicles as the technology is becoming innovative day by day. Even you can bring the innovative models to the world in various ways by enrolling yourself into data science and AI courses with domain specialization offered by LearnBay. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and comment on the topic you like to see on our channel. Subscribe to our channel learnbay.co and press the bell icon.